Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JNA Small Engine and today we're going to replace a impeller on a Mercury inboard engine. Alright, so we're going to start by taking off these bolts on the sides. These are going to be 16 millimeters. Alright, so before we remove the last bolt, I'm going to use a half inch and I'm going to take off the bolt in the back. All right, so since we're also going to replace the, the oil on the transmission, we're going to remove the lower, uh, the screw on the bottom. That's the drain plug. And we also have one over here on the top. That's the vent. You open that so it can get air and all the oil can drip down. Now that all the fluid is out, I'm going to take off the last bolt. Alright, so just remember, leave one bolt, just thread it, thread it in just a little bit uh, so the transmission won't fall. Whenever you're ready. So these are only four. You can use a 5 16 or an 8 millimeter. So now it's just time to put everything back together. Um, this is our, our lock for the impeller. There's a slot right here. So it just goes right there. The impeller, I always like uh, lubricating the fins with some petroleum, petroleum oil grease. Just a little bit just to help lubricate whenever you're installing it. And uh, 
this little slot goes right there on that uh, on that lock over there and you can put this impeller whatever side just make sure that lines up right there just a little bit of a little bit of grease right here we're also going to put a new gasket There. And we're going to rotate the shaft clockwise. Remember, you always want to rotate it clockwise and push down. There. Now just get our bolts and bolt away. When you're gonna set your transmission back in place, this little tube, this is uh, where it sends the water into the engine. Um, when you're gonna install it, it's gonna go inside that pipe. Let me show you. All right, once it sits all the way in, there, it's, it has some, some uh, O-rings in here. So that makes a tight uh, seal. Alright, so here we're going to use our 916. Now for our directional fin. We're going to use a half inch drive on this one. There, and our very last bolt is over here in the back. Um, this, is all, this is also a half inch drive. There, and uh, our speedometer line. That one just goes clicked in. That's it. You're done. <laughs> Alright, to refill your transmission with oil, you're going to use a uh, 80 weight, 90 gear oil. You're going to use a, a pump. You're going to connect it on the bottom screw, the transmission, and you're going to fill it up all the way until the oil starts leaking out of this, uh, the oil vent. Once it starts leaking, you can disconnect it, uh, put the plug back in, 
and uh, plug it up uh, up here. Alright, so right there it's already uh, starting to leak out. If I pump it one more, see? So now we're gonna get the plug and we're gonna plug this one first. This reservoir also goes to the transmission. Uh, this, you also fill it up with gear oil. This is uh, to balance it out just in case uh, the transmission fluid goes low. There it is. Right now we're just gonna start it. Um, on the transmission we use about a quart, quart and a half of uh, gear oil. Uh, just a quick recap on the tools you'll need. Uh, 16 millimeter for the transmission. You got a 916 going up, a half inch going down. On the back, we have a half inch drive uh, that's a bolt, and of course, the line, the rubber hose is um, it's just a clip. You just clip it off and just put it to the side. There's no bolts or pins to the gear shaft. And on the impeller housing, those are four bolts which are 516 or 8 millimeter, and uh, you know. That's to get to the impeller. So let's just get some water and turn it on. So just a little bit more info, uh, this particular boat has been parked for at least a year. So all this black water coming out, that's just a uh, carbon buildup on the exhaust, just being flushed away with the water. Uh, on this boat, this is a four cylinder, so you would only have an exhaust port on one side, right here. And if your boat was a six or an eight cylinder, of course you have an additional manifold, so you would have an exhaust on both sides. This one only has a port right there, but that's non-functional, only one side. Alright, so that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And subscribe, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.